I invited, uh, you know, one of the biggest brains that we have in our arsenal, uh, you know, Harvard College, Stanford, and a double degree at Yale, uh, Richard Wolf. What people have to understand is that we have an, uh, a system of medical insurance unlike any in the advanced industrial world. No other country does what we do. No other country that's advanced and rich and industrialized like ours spends anywhere near as much money on drugs, on hospitals, on doctors, on medical insurance as we do. We don't get particularly good results. Right. Namely, we don't live as long as people in those other countries. We stay in hospitals longer. We get sick more often. Our results are not, they're not the worst, but they're far from the best. Yet we pay more, way more, than anybody else. Anyone with half a brain would understand this is a problem, and we ought to look into it. If we don't deal with the basic ability of those four industries, hospitals, doctors, medical insurance, and the drug and appliance makers, those four industries, if we don't deal with how they've gotten together to get us to pay way more than our fellow citizens in other countries do, we're not going to solve our problem. So let's take the current situation. Mm -hmm. the, the Obama administration, to its credit, felt embarrassed at any international meeting when it was pointed out by people that millions of Americans have no medical insurance at all, something which doesn't exist in those, all those other countries, for example, all the major Western European countries. And so he extended, he, he agreed that he would try to extend in medical insurance to the millions of Americans who didn't have it. Okay, this meant that millions of more people would be insured, but they would be insured to pay the inflated prices and profits of those four industries, which makes extending insurance to them very expensive. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how's the federal government going to pay if it is going to pay these inflated prices? Uh, to extend insurance to all those people. And the answer was, this or what, what he did was the following. He took a big chunk out of Medicare. It's very important for people to understand that. He reduced the amount of money the federal government reimburses doctors and others for Medicare to free up the money to help the poor who have Medicaid. Now, that's not what most people would have wanted, because taking money from the middle to give to the bottom creates every kind of grief in the world and is really only something done to placate those at the top. And Obama did that. You have to be honest and explain that he did that. But again, to his credit, he at least made a bit of a gesture by saying that he's also going to tax the very richest in America, a very modest tax, by the way, uh, to get some money that way from the top to help all the money taken from the middle, from Medicare, uh, that was used to extend this um, program, the medical insurance, to all these Medicaid poor people around America that are suffering so much from this situation. And here's where the Republicans arrive, because they do this always. They represent the super-rich who don't want to pay any taxes. They don't much care if you take it out of Medicare because they're rich. They don't, they don't need that anyway. Right. But they do get very upset if you whack them with a tax, however small. Yeah. I however, mean, just so people know, the, the tax we're talking about on people over 250 was nine-tenths of a percent. Percent, that's right. Okay. A very, and, very modest tax. Right. By the way, this comes at the end of the last 30 years when, as everybody knows, the rich got much, much richer they got their taxes cut 10 different ways over the last 30 years. For them to complain That's now, right. let alone to mobilize the entire Republican Party, not that it takes much, uh, to defend them against this tax, that is, that's beyond disgusting. Uh, I, I, I don't want to use bad words, but it's an outrageous uh, behavior. And what it does is, as you put it nicely, it's a way of saying... We as a nation are not going to put a nine-tenths of one percent tax on people who earn over a quarter of a million dollars a year, <laughs> even if it means that millions of our fellow citizens have no medical insurance. It, it really, for people who claim that they are moral 
or ethical or Christian or have family values, I find it mind-bending that they can go along with this kind of a, of a ploy. And the sad thing is, as you pointed out, that uh, Mitch McConnell is running around doing what the people like him always do, trying to buy enough votes uh, to get this thing across. And, and it's a very sad commentary on where the United States stands. It surely is, but it says so much about the, uh, the, the Republican Party and their character and their integrity. It just says so much. You know, uh, the problem with all, all of it, and you know, there's one thing I think everybody agrees on in this country to have anything that everybody agrees on, uh, except for a small, small portion, one at uh, the top one tenth of one percent, would agree that the reason why the government doesn't work for everybody else is because of all the money in politics.